My name is Richard Tamire and I give the Holy Spirit the praise for teaching me God's word. I'd like to say that, you know, we're going to be talking about born to be a king. Now, there are two kingdoms that God was establishing here, the world kingdom and the heaven kingdom. Now, when Jesus first coming was basically Jesus first coming and he was given the power and the authority of God's kingdom when God gave him the Holy Spirit of the Holy Spirit and fire and at that time that's when his ministry started he was going around casting out demons he was going up against Satan and that's what it was he was doing a spiritual king he was it was a spiritual kingdom and he was attacking the spiritual realm the devils he was casting out demons he was healing people and now the people of Israel saw him doing this and they saw him as the Messiah but they were waiting for him to take hold of the physical kingdom, the world kingdom, and said, when are you going to reestablish Israel as a king? Well, then later on, <clears throat> you'll realize that there's other scriptures that talks about when uh, the angel came to Mary and it was talking about giving Jesus David's throne. So he was going to establish the world kingdom, but he at that time, he had not been made a king yet. He had to get to Governor Pilate in order for Governor Pilate to decree him as a king. And so in the scriptures, John, book, the book of John, chapter 18, verse 36. Now he stood before Pilate and he said, if, if, his, if, if his kingdom were of this world, and Jesus said, if, he were of, if his kingdom were of this world, then would his servants fight? Now, his servants did not fight. You remember when Peter struck the, the, the soldier in the ear and Jesus told him, put the, put the sword away. See, it wasn't about a physical warfare yet. It wasn't about the world kingdom. It was about the spiritual heaven kingdom. And so <clears throat> when he said that, he was saying, my kingdom is not of this world. He was talking about the heavenly kingdom. But if the kingdom were of this world, then my servants will fight. So we're talking about two different kingdoms. We're talking about heaven kingdom and the world kingdom. Jesus is coming to take authority of the people of Israel, but he couldn't do that until he became a king in front of Governor Pilate, which Governor Pilate later on in, in uh, book of John, verse 18, I mean, chapter 18, verse 37, when Jesus said to Pilate, when he asked him if he was king, and then Pilate, uh, Jesus said, thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world. Okay, the angel said to Mary that he was going to take uh, the throne of David. But that was a physical, that's a world kingdom. So now he's before Governor Pilate. Now Governor Pilate decrees him as a king when he's on the cross and he writes in the book of John, nine, uh, chapter 19, verse 19 and 22, he writes... Here is Jesus, king of the Jews. Now the people of Israel said, no, 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 don't you say that he's king of the Jews. Write that Jesus says he's the king of the Jews. The people of Israel understood that Governor Pilate had the power and authority over the people of Israel because Rome put him in that position. So they didn't want a leader that was sitting on a throne or, or judgment seat to say that Jesus is the king. But now this is what had to happen. Jesus had to come before Governor Pilate. For this purpose was he born into the world so that he could become a king, the king of Israel. That's where Jesus' second coming is going to come into play. In this first coming, as you see in my notes at the bottom, it says Jesus' first coming says, I say, I basically wrote this, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Spiritual battle against Satan, demons, no world kingdom. No world kingdom. That means the Israel, the people of Israel who God had decreed the land, the promised land, and was their king. <clears throat> Jesus' second coming is going to be for the kingdom of heaven, which he has the right place on the right throne, uh, Luke twenty two sixty nine, 69, the right hand of God, Acts 1, 9, and, you know, and Acts chapter 2, verse 33 to 36, uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12 through 14. Now, these are all things that show Jesus in the right hand of God in the heavenly kingdom. But Jesus has got to come back in his second coming. Like I've spoken about in other, in other videos. He's going to come back where he ascended. He's going to descend where he ascended. And he's going to take on, he's bringing the kingdom heaven. 
Okay, he's got the spiritual, he's got the authority to go up against Satan and demons. But now he's also going to go against the world kingdom, the nations of the world that have been going up against Israel in the physical realm. He's taking on now what the people of Israel were asking about the kingdom of Israel in the first coming. He's going to take place in the second coming, and that's when his servants will fight. Because now we're talking about a world kingdom. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. Why? Spiritual kingdom. He was fighting against demons and Satan and casting out demons. And now in the second coming, he is, this will be the kingdom of this world. And that's what he's going to come. And that's why Armageddon takes place. That's why all the nations and all are going to come against Israel because Jesus is going to be there with his chosen church. Not all Christians. Christians are going to be scattered around the world. He's only taking in to be with the bride or to be with him in the marriage supper in Israel, in the Holy Land, are those Christians that have produced spiritual fruit, that have obeyed God, that have been walking the walk and doing what they had to do in order to obtain the second glory, which is the Holy Spirit with fire.